Howdy folks, Joel with Earth Tools here. And we're gonna shoot a little video on aligning a quick hitch properly on a BCS machine. Uh, got a new 853 here, BCS, with a 26 inch tiller. And one thing that you will run into occasionally, particularly on new machines, when the quick hitches are really tight and they've been installed for the first time, is that the quick hitch just doesn't seem to want to align. Now we have uh, other quick coupling videos you can find on our website, which are YouTube videos, of course. We've got three different ones that demonstrate different uh, features and, and aspects of using the quick coupling, but we don't actually mention the proper alignment. Uh, so I'm gonna illustrate. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hook this thing up, bring this thing back onto the, so let me, let me get my nomenclature right here. This is the quick coupling female, that's on the tractor. This is the quick coupling male, this is bolted to the implement. What's holding the female onto the tractor are these two studs and nuts. So we get two nuts here, threaded onto two studs, and that's what holds it onto the tractor. The male portion of the quick coupling is held onto the implement by two Allen head bolts and nuts that are bolting this flange here onto this flange here. Now some of the implements we carry here at Earth Tools actually have this quick coupling male like integrated into the implement. It's not actually bolted on like this, but some implements have it bolted on. Any implement that is a BCS brand implement typically is going to have this bolted on to the implement because it's an add-on. At any rate, wanted to get the nomenclature out of the way. So, as I guide the tractor back, I'm bringing the female portion of the quick coupling, which is on the tractor, onto the male. Lock them together so everything's cinched up real nice, right? We drop the locking pin down. That's supposed to lock all the way down. Normally, the locking pin drops into that hole to lock the implement onto the tractor. We'll bring that on. Well, guess what? It's not going all the way down in the hole. See all this slack here in the lever? That's a lot of movement in that lever. That tells me that the pin has not dropped fully. That pin needs to go down to the point where there's no slop in the lever. I'll illustrate how far it needs to go down. It needs to go down that far. No slop in the lever at all. It's just, you know, it's flat across the top here. Well, it's not going down. See that? And normally, when, it, when you run into this, you would just wiggle the tractor handlebars around a little bit, maybe wiggle the implement around a little bit, and it would drop in. Well, this one's not going. I can wiggle until I'm blue in the face, and it's just not going down. Why? Well, I'll tell you. Two things have to line up here. This pin has to line up with where this hole is, but at the same time, where these Allen head bolts are need to line up with these two holes right here. Where these bolts go through this flange, there's some slop in those bolt holes. That is, the bolt holes are a little larger than the bolts themselves. So these heads could move around a little bit. If these happen to get tightened down in the wrong spot, what will happen is these are lining up with these, but they're lining up in a place where this doesn't happen to line up quite perfectly with this. So the pin is just like dropping, but it's hitting an edge of the hole. It's not completely centered on the hole and it just won't go in. So here's how we're gonna fix the problem. Get my trusty 19 millimeter wrench, which is the same as a three quarter. Three quarter inch wrench works perfectly. I'll take these studs, or these nuts rather, off of here. side here. All right, so just taking the two nuts and washers off, taking the female off. We're going to test fit it again. Oh, look, it actually dropped down that time. So it was just a minor misalignment issue. Sometimes Ah, there we go. See, it won't go down. So if I wiggle it hard enough, it goes down, but we want it to go down a little easier than that. So sometimes when you take it off the tractor and try this, it just still won't go down. And in that case, what you've got to do is you've got to loosen up, whoops, wrong hands. You gotta loosen up these because we gotta get these, we gotta get the locations of these bolts to change slightly. So you loosen these up, so you can just wiggle them a little bit. Put it on 
on this side as well. Oops, lost my footing there. Okay, so that's just a little bit loose. You can see how much slop is in those bolt holes. Those things can wiggle around quite a bit. And you put this on there, drop the pin. So that this is, now that the pin is dropped, it's holding that male right where it needs to be so that this pin is aligned with the hole. Now I'll stick my Allen head bolt, or uh, sorry, stick my Allen wrench in this front hole here so I can get at those bolt heads. And I'll go ahead and tighten these down with the male and female locked together. So everything, the alignment, it has to be perfect now because the pin is dropped in place. Whoops. <clears throat> helps if you don't drop your wrench. So bring them down snug, make sure everything's good. Yes, everything's good. It's nice. Now I'll take that off, get out of the way temporarily, and I'll go ahead and sunch these down. When I've got this uh, wrench oriented this way, I can't get a whole lot of torque on this because I've got the short end of the wrench out here. But now I can put the short end of the wrench in here, have the long end to grip, and then I can get some real torque on these things. Now when I'm doing the final torque, you wanna to make sure that you turn the nut, that is the back, you're using the wrench to turn the nut, don't move this. You're just holding this in place. Because if, you, if I was to crank up on this thing uh, and just hold this one in place, what could possibly happen is the bolt, as it rotated, could, could walk a little bit. That is, it could change its position relative to the hole. So I just want to hold the bolt in place and tighten the nut so that it doesn't walk around in there. It doesn't move as I'm doing that final tightening. Because we know the position it's in right now is correct. Everything's going to line up. We don't want to change that. Test it one more time. Beautiful. Falls on there in any position. Just really well aligned. I'll put this back on the tractor. Now, note when you're reattaching these bolts, this washer that comes on here is not just a flat washer. This is actually a conical lock washer. It's slightly cone-shaped. That is, you can see that it, it's like beveled upwards. Um, there's a little dish on the back side, and it's kind of raised up on the front. The raised portion goes out away from the tractor. That is, it goes towards the nut. You put it on backwards, there's no locking quality to it. As if you're assembling it the way I'm doing it, uh, as the nut tightens down on the washer, it actually crushes the washer flat. The washer is made out of spring steel and it provides a little tension against the threads uh, which helps it keeps tight. If you put them on backwards, there's just no locking element to them. They're just like a flat washer at that point. <clears throat> Uh, if those washers ever, or if, if you take them on and off several times, it actually will eventually crush them flat, and then they are just a flat washer. But you could always replace those with a uh, just a, a split lock washer or a, what they call a Nord lock washer, which is a serrated washer. So now we're going to do this again. It's all the way on. Still not quite. Um, there. There, it dropped right into place. So we're good to go. The, the way a particular implement sits on the ground always affects how easily that pin drops in. The tiller is just sitting on the depth knife right in the center, so it's a little, it's not quite firm on the ground, so you always get a little bit of wiggle to get it on there. If the pin, quick coupling pin comes up hard, you do the same thing. It's like a, slow, a soft wiggling side to side, get the quick coupling released. Yeah, this thing just, it's sitting on a point on the ground, so it doesn't want to stay firm. But still, after this thing is in service a few hours, it's going to loosen right up. There we go. And then it'll start coming off easier. The, the most irritating time for using any of the quick couplings is when the machines are brand new because everything's really tight and the, the tolerances are as tight as they're ever going to be. Once you get a little use on it and you get a little use on yourself using the machine, you become familiar with its ins and outs. So that's the quick hitch alignment process. Thanks for watching.